Hi everyone, welcome back. We're still doing the 1066 adventures here in East Sussex and I'm in the town of Rye, the beautiful town of Rye, staying at the Mermaid Inn, the famous Mermaid Inn. I wanted to stay here for years and it was actually really reasonably reasonably priced, price. so uh, I thought why not, you know, uh, absolutely gorgeous room, uh, very small but that's fine, absolutely fine, you know, it is what it is. Um, we're about to go down to the ship, down uh, and have some uh, dinner. I've not eaten all day because of fasting and um, I'll quickly give a quick tour of the room. So, that's me, hi. I've got a little wardrobe, which you can keep stuff on, lovely, lovely. Um, bed, of course, very comfy as well. And it looks out onto North Rye, which is nice. It's lovely here in the uh, seagulls. Um, nice bathroom it was all the usual gummings the walls are really thin all I've heard for the last hour is um, Bradley Walsh and the the chase program not that I watch TV but uh, I recognize it um, so oh door alert see um, but yeah other than that it's lovely absolutely lovely and of course the mermaid inn as a paranormal researcher the mermaid inn is supposed to be one of the most haunted inns in england i'm sure it is there's some interest interesting um tales i've read on their website uh, but as you know i don't think anywhere is haunted i think it's everywhere i don't think this place should be any more active than the sainsbury's down the road um but we'll see um yeah looking forward to some adventuring tomorrow uh but yeah first of all let's just go outside have a look around and then we'll go down for a meal at the ship. How's that sound? Uh, this way I think. Yes. Trying to find your way to reception. Do a proper tour but this is a nice little lounge area that looks out onto Mermaid Street. took a photo around here when we did the paranormal investigation at Wipress Tower uh, back in 2010. Okay, we'll go down to the ship. We're doing the full uh, tour and exploring tomorrow, which will be um, Wednesday. So yeah, let's go down to the ship. Another thing about the ship in had a really cool playlist going on, some really mellow reggae. It was really chilled out, I loved it. Welcome to Rye. I'll be honest. I don't know whose bright idea was to come up with cobbled streets. They're really uncomfortable to walk on. But uh, there is a pathway here when you're walking up Mermaid Street. Oh, 
Ah, oh, this is where I can't use my National Trust membership because it's closed on Wednesday. Henry James's uh, house, the author, lived here 1898 to 1916. Lamb House, National Trust. Um, oh well. I'm not a big literary person, so it's fine. 1965, in a garden house on this site, destroyed in an air raid on 18th of August 1940, Henry James wrote most of his novels. Bizarrely, it's probably better now at seven o'clock in the evening to do a walk around of Rye than tomorrow, although that's going to be sunny, because no one's around. Not the old chapel. Um, but then again, what will I do tomorrow? <laughs> now I'm going to the church tomorrow. I'm going to do a video from uh, Whitepress Tower, which we did a paranormal investigation in, as I said, um, back in 2010. Thank you, Ted Emson. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, this is Church Square, and it's quite a golden sunset, so um, I thought I'd just like to do a few videos, a little walk around. <laughs> Huxter's Row, look how small that is. Isn't that amazing? This is the door that me and Al looked at back in 2008. How short it is, look, compared to me. Incredible. Ah, uh, Whitepress Tower, or Rye Castle Museum, will come here tomorrow. Open daily, 10.30 till 5. Yeah, it was a really good investigation, that. Just, it was a really warm summer's day back in 2010. So it would be nice memories coming back here tomorrow. I was thinking about having dinner at the Whitepress Castle pub but then they're open uh, till Thursday so um, they're closed half the week so um, it didn't happen <laughs> but it's still had a very nice meal in the ship oh yeah sorry memories are flooding back here let's have a quick look uh, at the horizon Okay, let's head back to the hotel, or the inn, and have a look around. I really didn't think the Mermaid Inn was as big as I thought it was because rooms are it's about loads of rooms, absolutely loads of rooms. Um, yeah. Rebuilt in 1420. The original building was burnt down by the French. Right, let's see if we can find our way back to the room. We work when the blinds put down. We love it when nobody's around. I want to call out my town, but you bite my lip, don't make a sound. I'll be down if I'm leaving without you. Mm. 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 
So good morning, a full day in Rye today, uh, staying at the Mermaid Inn still. Synonymous with the Hawkehurst gang and smuggling back in the 1780s and millions of ghost stories of course. If you go to their website there's a great testimony of all these stories um, of people's experiences. But yeah, it's lovely staying in the Mermaid Inn, really is. Um, I mean look, fantastic. So what we're going to do now is go out into the uh, into the town and have a look around. Let's go. And I was here last night, but um, I'm going to swoop round Church Square and then pop into St Mary's Church. Have a look around there. Right, used to be a small fishing village until it was uh, also uh, burnt down by the French in 1377 around that time. I never thought the French invaded, but it wasn't really an invasion, it was more of a sacking. Um, they burnt the whole place down, which is a shame. Even now in this peaceful, quintessential English picturesque village and town, constant delivery drivers, cars, <laughs> you know. I've parked up obviously in the Mermaid Inn where I'm staying and I've just left it there for the day I don't need it until tomorrow. But yeah, it's still very quiet though, don't get me wrong. On the Hawkehurst Gang Smugglers Trail and this is Simon the Pieman, established 1920, the oldest tea room in Rye. Here we are in St Mary's Church. Worship on this site since the early Middle Ages. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. We are climbing up the top of the church tower, which I did back in 2008 with Al. Here we go. Oh yeah, you go through here. I'm actually not a big lover of heights, to be honest. Not too bad, but um, yeah, what a view, what a view. Michael's Tower. Right over in the distance is Dungeness Power Station. You can't see it because of the haze, uh, the morning haze. And that was used in two Doctor Who stories in the 1970s, The uh, Claws of Axos in 1971 and The Hand of Fear in 1976. Sarah Jane Smith's last adventure in the classic series.
during the French raid, they actually nicked the bells from St Mary's and took them back over to France, but um, shortly after they got retrieved and returned. Whew. That was fun to climb. That must be one hell of a risk assessment. <laughs> just got to be careful, like anything, just use your common sense. I'm in all these wonderful churches in East Sussex and I want to go to them all but I can't obviously. That's another trip. Big church though, St Mary's, big church. A lot of alterations over the years like most of these churches are. So come out of the church, old door alert, old door, and on this side as well, entrance of the church. Lovely. Interesting. This stone marks the probable site of the old cross used for mayoral elections between 1289 and 1602, each Sunday next after the feet of St Bartholomew, which was the 24th of August. The Union Inn. Yeah, we came here in, uh, when we did the paranormal investigation for a mill beforehand in 2010, yeah. Land gate built in 1329, one of four entrances into Rye originals. Amazing, so much traffic though, really spoils the ambulance, <laughs> really does. And now it's gone quiet again. Yeah, the land gate. So many places to see around here, but a lot of people, especially around the main high street, a lot of people around. But um, hope you're liking the little visual journey.
hope you enjoy the little walk around the town. Right, it really is a beautiful town, really is. Probably why it's so famous. And I love staying in the Mermaid Inn. I'm gonna have to come back at some point. I mean, original oak beams. Oh, just so cozy. Well, that's a bit of a maze to find your room, but you get you you, get, you work it out pretty quickly. It's like anywhere when you're going somewhere new. Um, yeah, it's been nice. All the rooms at the Mermaid Inn are named after people associated with uh, the pub and inn uh, over the years. And this is the Betts Room, it's a single room, it's called the Betts Room. And it's named after Betty Betts, who owned Betty Betts, who owned the 16th century cottage that the Mermaid Inn later bought, incorporated it into the inn. So it's a place of a former residence. <laughs> Dinner at the Globe Inn, just outside Rye at Marsh Rye. Let's go. little trip to Rye, the lovely medieval town of Rye in East Sussex. It's been fascinating going back to some places I've been to before but uh, exploring them again many years later. Also reminded me of a, a childhood holiday at Camber Sands nearby and I remember being really sick. I can't remember what it was, I still remember the feeling of being really sick down at Camber Sands back in the 70s. Um, so yeah, that jolted a few memories. But I hope you like the video, going back to some of these places, uh, maybe new to you, maybe you've visited here before. And if you have, please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff we do. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.